<clears throat> Look! Child's back to normal again! <clears throat> well then, time to cool off. It seems the burden of the foul legacy transformation was too great for my body. I lacked the opportunity to think this through. And now that I consider the matter more carefully, you never had any chance of beating me to the Gnosis. You had no connection to the Gnosis, no matter where it had been taken. That's what we've been trying to tell you! We didn't take it! Your show of ability today far surpasses that of Senora's initial assessment of you and Mondstadt. Tell me, how could that be? You already know the answer, don't you? I can see it in your eyes. But if that is a secret you wish to keep, I guess I'll just have to curb my curiosity. This battle has already left me satisfied. Anyone who strives as I do to grow stronger shall be called a friend. Even if our friendship can only be shown in battle against one another. Pretty sure that's not the normal way to make friends. Unfortunately, I must bring this amiable conversation to an end. My quest still beckons. Given that the Gnosis wasn't taken by anyone, then we must look once again to the beginning. Perhaps it was never in the Exuvia to begin with. In fact, it might be that the Exuvia was just a diversion of sorts. What? So you mean that... Yes, it appears so. Interesting to say the least. It seems that the guardian deity of the capital of commerce is also well versed in little maneuvers beyond the boundaries of contracts. As such, we must now look to our backup plan. Backup plan? I had hoped it would never come to this. I absolutely detest working with those who are weaker than I. The truth is, the world belongs to those of us who desire to become strong. I seldom willingly mingle with any dull and boring weaklings who think otherwise. Unfortunately, we cannot be picky about our methods as Fatui Harbingers. Children must all learn to eat their vegetables sometime. So what are you planning to do? I will awaken the god that lies dormant beneath Guyan's stone forest. A god? Osile, overlord of the Vortex, who was defeated by Morax, the Geo Archon, in the Archon War, and who has remained pinned beneath the waves by the Geo Archon's stone spears ever since. If such an ancient god were to be unleashed upon Liu Harbor, defenseless without the protection of its deity, do you think the cunning Rex Lapis would just stand aloof and watch the ensuing destruction? But the Archon War ended 2,000 years ago! How can an ancient god appear in a world now overseen by the Seven? Simple. I've already prepared the means to awaken it. Hey! Those are sigils of permission! Oh, Paimon remembers now! The Fatui have been researching them! Indeed. The one that was given to you was just a byproduct of our research. With the power of so many sigils of permission concentrated in one place, along with that which was bestowed upon me as a harbinger by our Tsaritsa, breaking the subduing might of the Geo Archon Spears for a time should be no obstacle. Using the powers of ancient gods in such a situation fails to interest me, and is largely against my principles. But knowing that such an action will not only force the Geo Archon to show its hand, but you as well, that may... Let's see. Will the nation that has lost its deity be swallowed up by an ancient malice once more? If you wish to drown together with the people of Lyra, you're free to stay and enjoy the show.